Kiki, this viral video that has been seen across the country now of an eight-year-old being put in the back of a Syracuse police cruiser for stealing a bag of chips is leading to more conversation about youth crime here. Syracuse police releasing the number of calls and arrests involving kids. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith looking into that data for us. Adrian, how are the numbers from previous years compared to so far this year? Well, Christy and Jeff, according to this report, Syracuse police arrested a total of 378 children in Syracuse last year. But the number of juvenile service calls SBD has received so far this year is higher than where we were in April 2021. So far this year, Syracuse police officers have already responded to 127 calls involving children. To put that number in perspective, SPD responded to 86 juvenile calls at this time last April. Syracuse police say the youngest juvenile delinquent arrest in 2021 was 11 years old. Sergeant Mark Russin and Chief Joe Cecil explaining to the Syracuse Common Council's Public Safety Committee the department's policy involving children. They say when juveniles are arrested, most are brought back to their parents and then given an appearance ticket, which was the exact case for this eight-year-old boy who stole a bag of chips and then stole another kid's bike days later. Keep in mind, these officers did exactly that. I mean, they didn't take this kid to jail, uh, as was indicated on the viral video. They didn't handcuff him. They put him in the car and took him home, straight home to his father, and then talked to the father for 10, 15 minutes in the street. To address youth violence and crime in the city, Chief Cecil says the department needs to continue building upon PAL, the Syracuse Police Athletic League, working to strengthen community relations between officers and children. So we're already doing some things, but there's obviously more things we can do. Be able to drive up to a child, hopefully not while they're committing a crime, hopefully when they're just standing in their front yard playing ball or something, and having that officer having that connection, there is nothing more powerful than that. So we have to expand on that PAL. Um, I think it's the biggest thing we can do. Right now, the Syracuse Police Department has one youth enforcement detective who works out of the Criminal Investigations Division. Now, after a child arrest is made, her responsibilities are to put together all the paperwork that is then sent over to the Onondaga County Probation Department for further review. Jeff.